Hi YouTube, welcome back. I thought I'd show you quickly some of the items, well all of the items that I managed to snag from the latest Mac collection, which I think is pronounced Pedro Lorenco, Lorenzo, I'm not um, a Spanish speaker and I confess I had not heard of this designer, um, but I do really, really like this collection. Um, I managed to order uh, one, two, three, four items online and there is a bit of a story. I do get um, email alerts to um, tell me when supposedly the collections are coming online for purchase in the UK and I've been puzzled uh, a few times that even when I've literally been online when the alert has come into my inbox and I've gone straight to the Mac site, still um, the products have already been sold out frequently. Um, and that's uh, slightly puzzled me. Um, now, with this collection, I read a few online um, reviews of America's release, uh, and then I read a review by a German um, blogger called Sarah Bowtime. I might um, link her blog below because although she doesn't have a vlog, she doesn't, so far as I'm aware, um, have any videos on YouTube. She has a really excellent written blog about beauty products. And particularly if you're based in Europe, um, so her blog is more in tune with the release dates that we get here rather than the American release dates. It's a really excellent blog. Anyway, she wrote um, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, about her thoughts on the collection. And I thought, right, well, I'll go straight to the website. It wasn't there, but I did a Google search. And to cut a long story short, there appears to be a link to the Mac website that you can't find if you just log direct into the Mac website, even if you do a search using the Mac's own website search engine, it doesn't show up. But um, via Google, it took me to the ability to order. Uh, I ordered these items and then lo and behold, 48 hours later, the email alert came saying that the collection was online and I went and most of it sold out. So. Long story, but um, I don't know why I'm telling you all, because in the UK this means now that you'll manage to get the collection as well, but, um, you know, and cause it to be sold out. But, hey, we're here to share tips with each other, and it is really frustrating when you read about collections, you get onto them as quickly as possible, and they're already sold out. Anyway, um, enough about that. What did I get um, I got what many people have described as the star of the collection, which is the iQuad. Uh, first thing to say about this collection is um, the packaging is, in my view, very sophisticated. It's black, but um, some people described it as being like the NARS, having that slight stickiness or rubberiness. Um, I know what they mean, but it's not the same as NARS. It's definitely smoother, um, but not. it's more matte than the usual um, MAC um, packaging. And um, the accents are all in gold. And I think it's just a very elegant, tasteful um, packaging, which I like. But more to the point, uh, I think it's a really, really elegant wearable collection because it veers be between... Um, really classy nudes um, geared to quite neutral face looks for the eyes and the skin and then um, there is a nude um, neutral lipstick which I'm not so keen on I'll show you in a minute and but very um, red ones there are also two silver lip uh, two uh, metallic I should say one gold one silver lip glosses um, which are described as holographic and I was quite tempted in the sense that I have a Victoria's Secret holographic lip gloss that I really, really like. I've shown it uh, in last summer's favourites. But generally, I don't wear lip glosses, so I passed. Anyway, the iQuad. Now, the first thing to note is that if you are a regular collector of MAC uh, eye products, and specifically their eye um, palettes, you will probably have two of the shades in this quad. You will have All That Glitters, which is this one here, um, which is one of Mac's most popular uh, eye colours. 
and Sable. Um, I have both of them. So that might dissuade you from getting this quad. It didn't dissuade me because I just thought it was very useful to have this palette with just four in to make a neutral eye when I'm traveling. And I really liked the other two colors, which are limited edition. They're both matte. And what are they called? Uh, they're called Pink Sands and uh, Rose Cloud. I'm... Um, not sure which is which because uh, I guess that could be pink sands and rose cloud, um, although that's kind of um, fawny neutral. Anyway, um, really nice. Um, not the most pigmented uh, or softest of shadows, but that tends to be MAC. But nice matte neutrals and, you know, the usual, all the glitters is not one of my favourite MACs, but, you know, it's okay. I do like Sable a lot. I think that's a gorgeous colour for doing a nice, um, low-key, smoky eye. So very pleased with that palette. If you like MAC shadows, um, you know, it's quite good value. I think it's about £33. Definitely, if you can get your hands on it, and it is selling very well, uh, sold out on the UK website, but you might be able to get it in some of the concessions. The other product that I like a lot is one that I've never used before. Um, it's called Cream Colour Base. And I'm not entirely sure what it is. The website's not terribly clear. I think you're supposed to be able to use it virtually everywhere. Although it came with a little write-up, which is obviously for cream colour bases generally. Which is quite difficult to read. And gives um, following shades and not for use in the eye area. And then it lists a whole lot of shades, which doesn't include this. And then it says others are not for use in the lip area. And lists another lot of shades. Doesn't appear to be this. So I take from that you can use this anywhere. But it's basically a sort of highlighting cream, very subtle, but gives a really nice sheen on the, you know, I used it under my eyebrow today and a little bit on my cheeks. Um, really, really pretty colour for particularly the paler skin. Very nice in the summer. Um, definitely, if you like that sort of product, worth having a look at. I went for two of the lipsticks. Um, I haven't worn either of them yet. Um, the one that I quite like and will keep, which is sold out, is called Roxo. I think it's limited edition. It's um, a very berry colour. Um, what formula is it? It's amplified. So, there you go. Um, definitely very vampy, but reasonably wearable for a lot of people I think and uh, I like MAC lipsticks they're not my favourite but I do like them um, and I quite like that colour perhaps not for this time of year but I'll definitely wear it the other one bit of a disaster and I'm not going to swatch it for you because I've swatched it well I've actually worn it once um, it's the nude which again is limited edition I think it's an amplified and it's called peach beige um, and you can see it's not picking up terribly well. Um, it's much lighter than it's coming up, even in the sunlight here. Um, and I'm afraid it totally washes out my lip. Um, it's not the uh, right nude for me at all. So that might be going on eBay. That'll teach me for buying without going to look. There are two other shades, uh, both reds. Um, one, I think, is very close to Russian Red, famous MAC shade. I haven't got Russian Red, um, and this isn't Russian Red. It's a, a limited edition, but people say it's very like. So I might go and look at that. I might get that, um, and there's another um, Red as well. Um, so a nice collection, because I bought so much, I got a little mini um, strobe cream, which is always useful, and... Uh, yeah, apart from that dodgy lipstick, which is my own fault, um, you know, nudes are difficult. You've got to get one that's flattering to your lip colour and complexion, and that one isn't. But the quality of these is nice. The packaging is nice. Um, you know, not as gorgeous as the uh, aquatics packaging, but I actually like the contents a lot more. Um, I think they make for a really, really useful, classy look. Um, so I wish you good luck in finding the products um, if you haven't got any yet and would like to get them. It definitely would be worth your while if you're a Mac fan. And uh, if any of you have got the products and really like them or got some of the others, especially the lip glosses that I did dither about and 
want to leave any comments of whether you like them or not, then um, I'd be very pleased to read those. In the meantime, bye for now.